Uh, we also need to see any necessary council tax rises in the future years be limited uh, and below any government cap. An ambitious plan, perhaps, from where we have come from, but the right ambition, and I believe a deliverable one. As I announced on day one, Mr Chairman, uh, another of my priorities uh, as leader is to move this council back within the county boundary and closer to our residents, uh, and those plans are progressing. A number of potential locations have been identified to house a smaller civic heart for the county, and by the time of our May council meeting, I would expect to be able to update members on our relocation from County Hall. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our district and borough colleagues uh, for their help and support uh, to ensure that the move goes as smoothly as possible. You might recall that on day one, I said that one of my aims was to harness the collective power of Surrey's peoples uh, and organisations so the county could have a bright future. I sincerely hope that part of that future will be about Surrey agreements, which would be a single unifying philosophy that unites everything we and our partners do to make residents and businesses more self-reliant. Of course, this could never be a one-size-fits-all approach and would differ within each district or borough, uh, even from town to town, but in all cases would cut across all services and improve outcomes for residents. Every single one of us has a role to play, whether you are a voluntary, community or faith organisation, volunteer, business, philanthropist or resident. We all bring skills, expertise and ideas for how Surrey needs to be a better place. This is all about strong communities where everyone can take some responsibility for making life better. Our district and borough colleagues, as well as our wider partners, will be key to the successful delivery of those outcomes, which is why I have written to all district and borough leaders proposing the creation of a joint forum. These local partnership boards would not only significantly reduce the level of bureaucracy, but also would broaden the remit of local and joint committees by encompassing a wider representation of key partners in a locality. They would be the primary forum for communication with local communities around local issues, along with wider consultations and discussion. A true place-based approach. I very much look forward to progressing this over the coming weeks and months and we'll be seeing a paper coming to Cabinet next month with more detail. 